want to know your story. How did you end up in that state or that whole situation? Well, you know, the thing is, is kind of what they talk about in, in rap music or what yeah. they talk about in music yeah. is the fact that we're not taught anymore in our society to connect with ourselves, right? We're always chasing something, whether we're chasing grades, chasing a degree, yeah. chasing, you know, um, our, an outfit or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And um, drugs allow you for a moment to gain complete and utter connection with yeah. yourself and your environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what for me became so addictive was um, you know I'd go to Nairobi National Park we'd go with our friends and we'd go and watch the sun go down mm. but if I didn't get high I felt like I wasn't going to capture the moment experience yeah experience not just the experience but it was poetic you know like you really wow. felt like you were connecting with the entire universe and everything made sense and your your role in that moment yeah. made sense. And that's what really drugs allow you to do is they allow you to become so present within yourself that you experience complete bliss. And that's what you chase. And what you don't realize is that after each time you take it, the experience depletes and it depletes. So you spend more time trying to achieve that same experience and you're chasing a high that you'll never be able to get again. So then you try something else, you'll try a different drug and you'll experience it with that different drug in a different way. And then you'll spend the rest of your time trying to achieve that. And while you're trying to achieve those moments, your body is creating a dependency, your mind is creating a dependency. And so, you know, um, we were here in Langata and I grew up in Langata. Um, you know, I came from a really, really good family. And um, for, for all intents and purposes, I had everything provided for me. I went to, you know, really, really great schools, grew up in great neighborhoods, had great, great friends. And um, so, you know, I had a lot of time to to explore these avenues because we had the time where on an afternoon we would just go to you know the national park and we would just go and watch animals and we would drink and we would smoke marijuana and everything like that which at the time you know and it it's still to a certain degree was completely harmless because for other people it may not have meant to them what that meant to me and so I became obsessed with chasing every single moment like that and then I became obsessed with um, making sure I didn't miss a single party because if I missed a single party I might miss a moment that I needed to be able to capture in time yeah. and I was the only person that was going to be able to capture that moment and the one day that my parents didn't let me go out or whatever my friends would come back and be like man it was the best I night out. you missed a night birthday you know and I was like I knew it you know and I would punish myself yeah. so my social environment and my need to create these epic experiences pretty much then superseded um, everything else in my environment. And, um, and then, you know, life happens along the way and then you feel as though the only place that you can go to stay safe is the environment that you've created for yourself yeah. in your addiction which is now the drugs. Yeah, I mean, um, the drugs the drugs is really a small part of it. It's the mind, it's your mind that, uh. um, that changes because for once, and I know in my experience, there was moments where I felt completely out of control, right? I felt, um, you know, 
I'm going to school, I have to get these grades and then I have to go to university and then I have to get this job and then I'm probably going to have to have kids and live in the right neighborhood or anything like this and then I felt like my life had already been planned out for me that there was nothing that I could do to escape that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so when I'd get into my drugs, it was something that I had control of and it was mine and nobody could touch it. And if you tried to touch it, oh boy. Mandy. <laughs> 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 your conversation is so intense you know <laughs> like, you know if the number of times i interrupt people when they're talking like i'm just like what am i supposed to say 